we're streaming now, guys. And I don't know if I'm late or not because I cut it so close every time. But today we're going to be talking about people who are crazy about politics. Hope you like it. We are about to start. You are supporting Nazis. This is do you like understand that? communism? Yeah, I f***ing am. Is. Tell the way more people Don't do. pour your coffee on me. F*** you, I will. Then the Nazis. You. What is do you wrong understand with you? that fascism is here? What is wrong with you? Y'all understand that Nazis are what fucking here? What is wrong with you, woman? A fucking Nazi was what just elected wrong in with Brazil. You? You're, you're pouring coffee on strangers. It's you have to off, ask man. yourself, what the hell is wrong Nazis with you? Nazis are fucking shooting you're my people. You're throwing milk at people. Nazis are shooting my people. Right, I don't I give a damn. That. Isn't that nice? <laughs> <laughs> guys, this is James Hake, it's uh, Sunday, November 4th, and I'm going to be talking about people getting crazy about politics, including Barack Obama, Alec Baldwin, and Kami Chocolate Milk Girl from uh, Florida. Oh, it's the Hake Report, the Hake Report, la la la. So, good morning, guys. This is James Hake, as you know, and I'm host of The Hake Report, and I'm joined with uh, Joel on the board and his intern. <laughs> <laughs> so, you caught, you caught that lady who kind of went nuts. So, she, it turns out, her name is what? Shelby Shoup. And she's apparently like a Jewish young lady because she's like, 11 of my people were killed. And so she felt that that was justification and that pales in comparison or that's justification for her to throw chocolate milk on somebody who who supports Ron DeSantis. And she's and she by the way, I don't know if you caught it and I don't know if she said it here or or in the next clip which I'm going to show you. And then I will get to your calls at 888-775-3773. But she said that a Nazi was um, elected as president of Brazil or something like that. And I don't know a lot about the Brazil situation. A lot of you guys have been asking us to cover it, and I haven't looked into it yet. But I heard that he, want, he um, is also joining President Trump in moving the Brazilian embassy, I guess, to um, Jerusalem. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. But um, would a Nazi do that? I don't know. I thought the Nazis hated Jews. And I don't know if this guy hates Jews, this guy from Brazil. I don't think so. He sounds like he's an okay guy. Not really sure yet. We'll look into it and let you guys know. Or you guys can tell me. So, um, by the way, I have some very interesting stuff. And um, I think that it's not the ideology that makes the people crazy. Although, yes, knowledge does puff people up. And they get all knowledgeable and hoity-toity and think that they're better than everybody else. Um, but it's the anger. This way, this lady's angry about the, um, the white nationalists who shot up the, allegedly shot up the Jewish synagogue, and she feels that that's justification for her to throw chocolate milk on a guy who doesn't, who's like a normal person. You're calling normal people Nazis, or, or Nazi normalizers. And Scott, yes I did. <laughs> They're calling them Nazi normalizers. That's, uh, that's, um, normalization is not the problem, woman. Um, so let's go ahead and play this part B because I'm like reacting to her before I show you what she actually says. Because she goes on. All right. Nazis are socialists, by the way. Nazis are not <laughs> National socialism. National socialist is actually the name of the. Oh, 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 National socialist. Oh, my God. As if I don't know this is a. When she starts mocking you, that's when there's no argument left. Okay. My God. Why do y'all always focus on the socialist part of that instead of the nationalist part of that? Why don't you realize that there are fucking KKK 
KPD Communist Party, f***ing Socialist Party, and the German Parliament at the same time. God By the way, I don't know if you caught it, but she's wearing a communist pin, and then she's wearing an anti-Nazi pin. Um, this is like, it reminds me so much of what I used to hear about during, like, the, the heyday of the punk rock days, where there were skinhead-type punk rockers, or so-called neo-Nazis. I don't know if they ever identify themselves as neo-Nazis, but that's what I heard. And then there was Antifa, and that's her, Antifa. <laughs> Those are, they're communists. They're, um, I don't know, I guess, what's the difference between National Socialist and her? Globalist socialist? She's definitely not nationalist. She doesn't love America if she hates uh, the president and thinks he's a Nazi. Anyways, um, yeah, so they triggered her with uh, saying Nazis are socialists, <laughs> which, uh, whatever. I don't really care because it's not the ideology. It's the, she's angry and she's no, uh, not much better. She'll, she, if she's like that and she's raising a kid, that kid's liable to, to shoot up a place. Beta! Yeah, thank you, Jesse. Took the words right out of my mouth. Let's play this part C. Show me uh, the rest of this woman. Can you leave? Um, in fact, I can, because I have class to go to, but I hope you all realize that you are normalizing and enabling Nazis. And you can film me. I don't give a shit. Listen here. 11 of my people are fucking dead this weekend. Two black people are dead in Kentucky. Yeah. These are fucking awesome. nationalist murderers. I mean, that this really normalizes. Do you really care? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. I don't know. This, it's, I don't know. I don't know. Cool. I am so sorry. It's okay. To hear that. So she turns out it was, she was registered on LinkedIn, according to Fox News, as a Andrew Gillum intern. And Andrew Gillum is that far left guy who's out of Florida, black guy, mayor of Tallahassee, he's for like everything socialist, um, who is running against Ron DeSantis, who said, let's not monkey this up. We need to, uh, and he's running for governor, I believe. And so Ron DeSantis is a good guy, Trump supporter, apparently. And um, let's not monkey this up. We can't be monkeying around. Um, she kicked up a, a Ron DeSantis sign and said, bleep, Ron DeSantis. And um, I kind of was amused by how these guys were treating her. <laughs> she was just crazy, and they treated her basically like she's crazy. But they were treating, they were treating her very nicely, like too nicely, in my opinion, I think. It, notice that it took the woman to say, uh, you know, the conservative woman, obviously, who said, can you leave? <laughs> the guys should have kicked her out, like, right away. But anyways, it was a very interesting video. Thank you guys for recording that video and sharing it. <laughs> it's nuts. And I'm glad that it was caught on video so that she could get arrested and face consequences. But, um, yes, uh, Nazis are not becoming Nazis because they're getting normalized as Nazis. They're becoming Nazis... And they're not even Nazis, but let's just call them, let's just call them Nazis for short, okay? So they're becoming Nazis because there's an attack on white people and people like her trying to squelch the free speech of normal people is radicalizing people because they're getting mad at her for getting mad at them for getting... Anyways, it's going, she's going crazy. And uh, whites are becoming a minority in this country. And I've heard a lot of rhino Republicans talk about we have to appeal not just to white voters, as if that's what they're doing. They're not doing that. It just so happens that majority of white voters still vote for sanity, meaning Republicans, or at least for, for Trump. Voting for rhino Republicans is not sane. And uh, we didn't realize that until, a lot of us didn't realize that until now. But they're voting for, um, they're voting for Republicans, for sanity. The Republican platform is sane. The Democrat platform is insane. It's for um, abortion. It's for same-sex marriage. It's for um, transgender madness and all that stuff. And it's not sane. It's for illegal aliens coming in. And um, I'm going to play some fear-mongering because Obama accuses us of fear-mongering. And there are legitimate fears, but... Um, they are the ones guilty of fear-mongering, and you're going to see it. Um, let's see. 
Should I take... Okay, anyways, let me, before, let me finish up this point before I get to my calls. There are... Whites are becoming a minority, but you'll notice that um, if we can change the POCs to the side of good, then, um, then hopefully we can salvage the country. And hopefully whites won't become a minority. They'll st all of a sudden start getting married and having kids, um, which so many of us are not. But uh, we, also, we really have to focus on what's right, because um, if we just focus on what's white, as Jesse says, then we're not going to, we're going to end up um, weak and missing the point. And the point of life is that spiritual battle that Jesse says. It's not becoming angry at the people that are angry at us or psycho like w women like this or psycho people like uh, Barack Obama, who I'll show you later in this show. So anyways, like the point is, look at Trump, look at Jesse, like he's waking people up. Whites, a lot of whites are waking up, but he's also waking up POCs. The people of color, the blacks, Hispanics, including Muslims, even atheists, they're all like waking up. And Trump is doing it by being himself, not backing down, having no anger, but just like bashing people mercilessly with, with love and truth. So it's so nice. And that's what's driving these people nuts, by the way. They don't, they, this woman doesn't care about the Nazi thing. She doesn't love those people. She doesn't love anybody. <laughs> She's just crazy. So anyways, let me get to some callers. Caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? Uh, hello. Hey. I recognize your voice. It, Who's this? Yeah, it's uh, Samuel from Sweden. Hey, nice to hear from you, Samuel. How are things been? Yes. Uh, Hey, but the, did you say something? I said, "How things? Uh, how have things been?" Uh, I would say good. Um, you know, uh, life is an experience, and uh, I wish I had uh, more money. Right uh, on, right on. Do you I hear me? That. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, but uh, anyway, I, I want to take talk about two things, and uh, the first thing was politics, and. Um, and as I, I would say that the things that are happening in the USA is uh, almost exactly the same uh, things that, um, let's say, political um, uh, themes and that is in Sweden. Uh, we, have, uh, we have to talk about um, immigration and, uh, and how it affects our society and, and also... What what our own countries and you know how how to save it or whatever you know have to yeah support, support it uh, and um, yeah and uh, you know it's like my brain gets empty but I would like to say that I don't think it's so much uh, about they call it nationalist socialist but I right. would say that. In the same way, um, yes, they always say there is no racist, there is no uh, if, uh, un Islamophobia is, right. and different things. It's just right or wrong, and it, it's the, exactly the same thing when it comes to politics. Yes. And, and I would like to say this. Uh, I, I have, when it comes to the word nationalist and how it's got a bad tune, it's because it's often uh, we often the people of the use uh, in, uh, Nazi as uh, but people have to remember. I just got this idea today that back then in the 1930s when the Nazi Party came to power in uh, Germany, every European country was nationalist. But uh, what differed in the Nazis was that they uh, were very aggressive. Aggressive. They were very evil, and they uh, they and they wanted to socially engineer society and form it. Uh, and but in other places, I mean England and France, they were nationalist countries. They believed in their own uh, country, their own people. But they had they were more, more relaxed. They, they didn't kill people at had concentration camps. So I I I just understand that. But today. People, 
think that loving your own country and yeah. is evil in any in any every respect. Yeah, it's uh, ridiculous. And, it's uh, it's it's fear mongering from the left, from the communists. The people that um, I notice that the people that fear monger about nationalism, they don't love America, and they don't care about what's right either. They tend to be liberal, and they don't tend to be about what's right. And um, the, you know, all of that history, I don't know much about it. I just I know that. Uh, I know that the Nazis, according to Dinesh D'Souza's movie, they were not the only vicious party or aggressive party, say. There were some very aggressive communists that they were doing a backlash against. I guess, I don't know if communists are globalist socialists, I don't know. But in, in, in the case today, they're globalist socialists, as Bill Lockwood says. They call them globalist socialists. And that is... Like Trump said, that's, they tend to leave out America. They don't protect the country. They, they protect... I don't know what they're protecting. They're just being evil, really. Um, I, I, w I would want to say that the evil, most evil part in any polit t uh, political aspect is the social engineering when uh, politicians try to engineer people's uh, private lives. They try to decide how families are going to run and I see this I see this in Sweden they are trying to tell now families how they men should be home and do uh, a woman stuff with the, uh, with the kids and they they change the um, money yeah uh, uh, parent money to force and uh, to encourage men to stay home with the children yeah. and they and and all other stuff and that there are political parties that want really social engineering and i i mean and that's the evil thing when um, people in power think that they can decide every uh, family's life every human's life and you know i I'm, that I, is i think i'm a Okay, yeah. That yeah. is evil. I don't know if that's the only evil that the government can do, you know? <laughs> like, they can just be, like, two hands off. Look at what they're doing with, um... They're... I don't know. But any, in any case, that is an aspect of, of the evil that government does. You are right. But I have to tell you, it's, it's, it's a social engineering to have open borders. I mean, yeah. one of the top politicians uh, for uh, Sweden's next largest party mm -hmm. said that rape is now the normal we can't right. change it <laughs> and you know it's it just it's crazy perhaps the last 10 years we have started to get all this uh ra rape in yeah. sweden uh, and uh, and he listen now it's they, they sh and i don't understand and well i understand because that they are it's evil they, yeah they can't we can't stop it. They can't do what's right to prevent uh, things from happening. And uh, if you're if I, you're a nationalist, okay. Sorry. I appreciate it, Samuel. I I gotta go, but you're you are right. Okay. They are they're accepting evil. They're bringing it in, and then people grow up like this, and then they accept it. Good to hear from you. Um, good to hear from you, Samuel. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. And I, I watch the watch the church. Later. Yeah. Definitely catch church. All right, Samuel, take care. He is right. They, um, like what he brought up with the, they're saying rape is now normal. We're accepting illegal aliens as normal. We have just accepted as normal. And like the kids that are growing up today, they think that homosexuality is normal. They're just accepting it as right. It's promoted as, it's literally promoted as good to be homosexual. It's crazy. They're promoting it as good. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But they are. That's what they're doing. It's so nuts. And uh, it drives their... They, you know, Obama used to say the most ridiculous things to troll people. And I think that he was trying to troll people and drive them nuts. And it kind of worked. And now Trump is doing it. But he's doing it for good. Trump, uh, Obama did it for evil. And Trump is driving the people nuts because, like... He won't back down. It's kind of like how Jesse is. Jesse won't back down, no matter even if you try to bring in your irrelevant facts. Jesse doesn't care about that stuff. He just cares about the truth, and he'll just drive to the, the root point, 
and uh, it drives the people nuts because he doesn't care about your little facts. He's just uh, he's just gonna assert the truth, and it'll drive you nuts. But um, that's why I think that a lot of people are we still on. Um, that's why I think that a lot of people are um, either afraid or too angry or too crazy or too intellectual to even approach uh, Jesse for a debate because we invite a lot of people on the show and he, they do not accept most uh, most of them because uh, they're cowards, they're intellectuals, they're hoity-toity, th and they want to protect their lies. And Jesse cuts through the crap. That's what, um, sorry for saying the C word. Uh, that's what, uh, that's what uh, Trump does. And it's so nice that a guy like Trump won. It is so nice. Um, let me get to one more caller, and then I will get to some interesting stuff. Caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Hello? Yes. Who's this? Oh, uh, this is Russ from hey. Hampton, Virginia. Nice to hear from you, Russ, from Hampton, Virginia. Yeah. Yeah, I used to talk to you guys a lot. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Uh, you talk a lot about Jesse. Yes. I, I don't what I don't understand why you can't have your own show with your own views because this seems like to be like a just Lee Peterson Jr. show. <laughs> I don't know. It might be a fair point, but um, I talk a lot about Jesse because Jesse makes great points, and that's who I listen to uh, like fifteen hours a week, and so I just I feel that he makes great points. What am I supposed to do? But you're right, I could, I could definitely break out. Um, but, I mean, I, there's a reason that I um, attend Jesse's church and that I started to work for Jesse, that I've, like, volunteered and helped out over the years. And that's because, like, I have, the, I, have um, I can see that he's telling the truth. And, like, why am I going to repeat a line that Jesse says without giving credit? I guess I could, but um, there's this fear-mongering about plagiarism. And uh, I guess that maybe got to me a little bit. But I credit Jesse. I credit Trump. I, um, and I don't really listen to much else other than Jesse and Trump, <laughs> to be honest. I used to, right, listen. I used to read a lot of like Huffington Post and all that stuff just to see what they were talking about. But um, it's kind of a waste of time. And then like, they don't come on the show anyways, so why should I bother listening to them if they're like too cowardly to come on the show? You know what I mean? Hey. Hey, and it's not like I, they're making any good points, really. It's nice to hear what they're actually what they actually think. That's why I like bringing them on. But, uh, anyways, listen. Everybody has the right to their own opinion. So if Thank you believe you. all that stuff, then that's fine. I'm not going to fault you for that. I diff I have a difference of opinion. I think that Jesse is kind of a clown and an idiot and stuff. But that's my personal opinion. <laughs> so, you know, I back at you. <laughs> what does that mean? Back at that, you? that means what? that I feel that you're a bit of a clown and an idiot too. What? Why? You don't even know me. Why? I why know you. Know Come me? on, we know each other. Uh, based on what you say. No. Yeah. Well, I'll clarify what you just said. You don't know me. Yes, I do know you. You've been calling in. And you say crazy things like Jesse's a clown and an idiot, and so, anybody yeah, who thinks that Jesse's a, anybody who thinks that Jesse's a clown and an idiot is a clown and an idiot. No offense. No, that's stupid. Don't be stupid. That's wow, stupid. wow, no, that's you're not, stupid. That's my opinion, and I can <laughs> have stupid, my opinion. If you can I have, have your you can have he your said, clownish whoa, 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 idiotic whoa, 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 opinion. Whoa, 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 stop, stop. You can stop, be stupid. Stop, I don't mind. He said, "Well, stop, 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 stop," because unlike Jesse, stop. I can have an opinion. And I can back my opinion up. I'm like, beta. Okay. Beta. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. well, you got Girl to him or something? Like, <laughs> the fact, the, first of all, the fact that I'm standing up to you Jesse and having telling tourists. you that you're a clown and he's a clown does not mean that you I'm didn't a beta back man. Anything up. It means that I'm an alpha man oh, and yeah. I'm going <laughs> to tell you what I feel and how I feel and I'm going to back it up. All man, right. up and stop bull crapping. <laughs> I appreciate the call, Russ. Anything else? Yeah, if you're going to hang up like Jesse did last time I talked to him, then I, I'll get the chicken song and, and, and <laughs> play that for you. But you can't play it on my show it. because it's my show. <laughs> does, it make you feel, does it make you feel better? 
Yeah. Okay. So you can hang up on me now? If you want. That's up to you, dude. This is your, <laughs> your show. I can't. Okay. You're right. You're right. I gotta, shows, take, I gotta take. I gotta. I gotta. I gotta. The clown that I gotta you take are. control of my ahead. own show. <laughs> All right. They, they go. They go. I'm not. I'm not amazed. So I'm. You have you're a good day. You gotta use that brain power. <laughs> they, exactly. There you go. All right. All right. Um, All how, right. Have, you like. You like Trump. No, I think Trump is a clown. Yeah. He's an idiot. Okay. And I would never. I would never. I would never. <laughs> Uh, vote into power someone that has absolutely no um, experience. Right. All right. Cool. Now, did you vote for he Obama? Does a good job or not? Did what? What? Let me finish. Oh, then, did you vote for Obama though? Not? And then you finish. Did you no. vote for Obama? No. Okay. Good. Yes, I did. But oh, you did. About Trump. But he didn't have let, any let experience. Me, let Anyways. me finish about right, 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 Trump. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whether Go. Trump does a good job or not, we have to wait. And give him time yeah. to do what he does, which and is then what he's we been doing. Evaluate whether he was a good president or not. Yep. Yeah, he's been the best president ever so far. Nice to hear from well, you, Russ. That's your opinion. Yeah. Catch church. You gonna catch church? Um, you know what? Uh, I probably will because right it amazes me the stupid things that Jesse said. So yeah, I like to I like to hear stuff like that. Yeah, don't, don't judge it so fast. It's stupid. Maybe you'll uh, catch. Well, no, on no, a I bit. don't. I, I wait till he says what he says, and then I judge it. <laughs> no, don't. Like for example, maybe you should uh, not forever. judge it. That's maybe you should not judge it because then you maybe you'll maybe it'll sink in a little bit. Well, it doesn't it doesn't sink in when it doesn't make sense. Can I ask you a question? Real yes. Quick? Yes. Okay. Uh, that's the fact he doesn't sin, right? Because he's a child. He's a son of, of of God, right? Yeah. Very biblical. That's what, Excuse me. Very biblical. Biblical. Okay. It's biblical, not okay. to sin. Well, once you're right. uh, Listen, born again. I'm not a scholar with the Bible. Obviously. Okay. <laughs> so when when the Bible says that he said he who says he has no sin is a liar and the truth is not in him. Doesn't that negate what Jesse said? No, it doesn't. Because the Bible how, says how the Bible says that anyone born of God does not sin. Now. Wait, wait, wait. But it also says that he who I says go. he is without sin yeah. is not. <laughs> Jesse has sinned so you, before. So, so, Obviously, wait, wait, he has a son out wait, of wait, 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 wait. There ain't so no you way. Negate, you I'm tired negate of this. That. This is a boring you want conversation. To, you want you to go watch the, that. Go watch the videos. You want to I gotta go. You, I have you had you on for seven minutes. You I have had everybody else on for seven minutes. Because it, it, bye. it, it blows bye. what bye. you're saying out of the water. Thank right. you. Of course. All right. Boy, Thank bye. You. <laughs> Boy, bye. Anyway. Yeah, whatever. Oops. Yeah, oh, no. Right. I hung up on the wrong person. <laughs> uh, clumsy. That's terrible. Call back, um, line one. Call back. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hang up on you. Uh, caller, are you the one that I hung up on by accident? Oh no, I, I put him on hold. <laughs> I am so off today. Let me just, okay, callers, I appreciate you hanging on. Let me play something real fast. Let me play, um, what should I do? Let's play where my, uh, Alec Baldwin is um, coming out of the police station, because Alec Baldwin uh, allegedly punched somebody in the face. Alec Baldwin was 60 years old. Here he is. Um, and you can just start playing at any time. I'll just shut up once you start playing it. Alec Baldwin. The way we allegedly. implement change, the way no, we implement the, change in America is through. Uh, that's, that's eight. Oh, okay. Two. Yeah. Okay. We're going to play, we're going to kind of play it backwards. That's him coming out of the police station. Can you afford a garage at this point with the money you Go, 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 street. I got it. So, uh, the story goes that this guy, he was, um, he punched somebody in the face over a parking spot because a family member of Alec Baldwin. This is just as the story goes, allegedly, because Alec says it's a lie. And Alec would not lie. So, um, what happened is that the story goes, 
Alec Baldwin punched a neighbor in the face who took the parking spot that the, that the uh, family member was standing there saying, don't park here. But this guy parked there anyways, and so Alec Baldwin chased him down and punched him in the face, or like, you know, whatever. So that's the story. And um, he apparently got arrested, so he was coming out of the police station there, and the media is like all over it, and saying, can't you afford a garage, a private garage with the money you make? And so anyways, uh, Alec Baldwin has long had a history of like showing his anger, anger problems. And um, unlike Trump, Trump doesn't se seem to have that anger problem. So um, here's Trump. Talk, show Trump responding, because Alec Baldwin hates Trump. Alec Baldwin is like a far-left liberal, and I'm going to show you what he talks about with Trump in a second. But sh show Trump responding to Alec Baldwin's arrest. Alec Baldwin was just arrested for punching somebody out during a parking dispute. Any reaction to his arrest? Who was arrested? Alec Baldwin. He punched I, somebody out during a par parking dispute. I wish him luck. <laughs> That's it. Isn't that nice? Trump wishes him luck. It's like what Jesse says, wish them well. Your enemy, wish your enemy well. And um, Alec Baldwin, if, if anybody of you don't know, Alec Baldwin is an actor. He's on Saturday Night Live all the time. Um, he acts like Trump. He puts on like a wig that makes him look like Trump, and then he just mocks Trump and tries to make him look like an idiot. And, oh yeah, he was in Mission Impossible, huh? Mm -hmm. Anyways, um, yeah, very famous actor. Successful, but has issues. Um, Trump wishes him well, isn't that nice? Wishes him luck. That's a nice word for it. So anyways, let's show, let's show that one where he was speaking to, he was speaking somewhere. Listen to this. The way we implement change, the way we implement change in America is through elections. We change governments here at home in an orderly and formal way. And in that orderly and formal way, and lawful way, we need to overthrow the government of the United States under Donald Trump. <laughs> so that's, that's Alec Baldwin. I'll show you a little bit more from him uh, after I show Obama clips. Um, but let me get to some calls. Caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? Almighty. Almighty? Man. Yes, sir. Is that your real name? That's my real name. Nice. So you're, you're, which one named you that? Your mother or your father or both? My, both my parents named me that. Nice. And where are you calling from, Almighty? I'm calling from Los Angeles. Nice. So are you on a speakerphone or are you on a train or something? No, let me stand away from this thing. Okay. Can you hear me better now? No, now I'm getting wind. Go back to the other way. Hold on. Okay, can you hear me now? Y yeah, I can hear you now. That's better. Okay. Okay. So Much I was calling. I was calling because um, I don't know between you and Jesse who's more delusional, <laughs> whether it's you me. or Jesse. And, me. I'm, and I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that to be disrespectful. Yeah, me, I, know. Who, I, I, I heard you. I heard you speak on about mm, 45 minutes ago when you said that there's an attack on white people. There is no attack on white people. Yeah, there is. You say that? No, there's not. There is no attack on white people. In fact, in fact. There is a big time fact, attack on whites. Okay, say your fact. Okay, and say your how fact. is that? How is that? Explain to me, how is there an attack on white people? Okay, so like most blacks hate white people. It's a true. And that's then not true. You're lying. That's not, that's not true. That's not true. We have, you're saying black people have openly embrace white people we're the most forgiving people to people who don't forgive us you don't see black people calling cops on white people for doing stuff like walking their no, dogs on the street but they're doing that because they're uh blacks have a history of like and a very no, recent man, history no, man, no, up no, to no, today no, man, listen. no come on you got you have to admit there's I, like a I've there's like you. a criminal element in the black community and it's man, larger dude, than others okay proportionally that's that's not that's not true you're it lying is true. you're lying no it's you, not you're lying, lying. you're the, lying the, you're the li fb the fb you're the FBI, the FBI stats, yes. I'm sorry, the FBI stats for mm -hmm. this year alone yeah. have the majority of people who have committed crimes in this country this year alone were committed by white people. I would hope so. There was 100, there's 60% there was 100, of the population. There was 174, 77 there was if you count the Hispanics. There was 154 mass shootings this year alone. We're, nice. in, uh, we're in November. 
All those mass shootings have been committed by white people. That's not all. That's no. That's a lie. <laughs> all I guarantee those you. No, that's not true. Mass shootings. 154 mass shootings in this country this year were committed by white people. I doubt that. Yes, that's true. I doubt that's it. That's the FBI stats. So doubt it. FBI line out. That's that's that's. That's just no. I think you're FBI. mis. I think you're misreading the FBI stats because no, like, I'm not. Okay, okay. Because okay, a lot of blacks okay, commit so they, mass okay. shootings. Uh, it tends to be gang no, violence. No, they don't. They commit. They commit shooting against themselves. I, I know. I know. That's but people. it's still a mass shooting. It's still a mass shooting. No, that's not mass shooting. No, that's not a mass shooting. No, a mass I know. It's, a, it's, it's a little different from. The, it's a little different from going into a school and like, like that to innocent people. I understand that, but it's but technically it's they call it a mass shooting. I think it's ridiculous, the whole mass shooting thing. Um, I think it's probably a, somewhat proportional to the to the uh, population, except for the Muslims. They disproportionately do the mass shootings too. Because, no, they do not. Man. Yeah, they do. Okay, how many how many mass shootings have have taken place in this country this year alone that were committed by a person that was not a white person? I don't. Know. I'll wait for that answer. I don't know. I don't know, and exactly. I don't care because. Be oh yeah, I mean, oh, so you don't care, but then you can sit there on your radio station and throw because out you're. I mean, you're throwing out. Stats. You're throwing out kind of irrelevant so, stats. No, 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 say it's irrelevant because it doesn't go against. But anyways, you're talking like you're okay. Okay, so, okay. Uh, I have okay. Yeah, I have okay. I have one question to ask you. One All question right. to ask you. Yeah. Okay, you said and Jesse said right that if I like anyone passion, doesn't the tell the truth, you said <laughs> and Jesse said that if anyone doesn't tell the truth, they're of their father, the devil. Right. Right. The president of this country lies every single chance he opens no, his mouth and tells these BS lies. That's not he lying. That's lies. getting your facts wrong. Yes, he is lying. Yes, he is no. lying. Yes, he is lying. No, when he's he, telling when the he truth. Says stuff, when he says stuff that's not factually true, it's called a lie. Now, it's called um, a lie. hold on, hold on, hold on. We have to go back up because I don't know if okay. Jesse said that anybody who lies is of their father, the devil. Because there's yes, a, he, he did. He, yes, he did. No, 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 I'm, no. I'm no. sorry. Hold on. He, must have he said, says that he there's said a time Democrat. to lie. He says that there's a time to lie. So if there's a time to lie, then oh, that there must, is. Yes. There is? Yep. Oh, so, oh, so, okay, so, yeah. it's a time to lie. Okay, so yeah. if you come home and you catch your wife sleeping with your next door neighbor and she lies and says, oh, no, he's helping me comb <laughs> my hair, is that time to lie? Matter That's fact, probably on, on. a time to Matter lie. Fact, <laughs> I don't know. I got something better for you. <laughs> All right. You, oh, you, you, you support Dinesh D'Souza, right? Dinesh uh, somewhat. D'Souza, I mean, he, he has he some. He cheated on his wife. He cheated on his wife. Yeah, he's definitely a wrong for that. Woman. Yeah, I, okay, I so, totally disagree with him on that. He should not have divorced and remarried or cheated or anything. I, I agree with you okay. there. Yep. So there is so is the initial Susan say a person that lies about family values? That was because he cheated on his wife. No, I mean it's wrong. It's Trump wrong cheated on his wife. Did. Trump cheated on his wife. Trump looks at Trump looks at Trump has committed adulterous acts against every single woman he's been married to. He cheated on you know, saying he cheated with Ivanka with Marla Maples. So did Ivana you know who, you know who else did that? You know who else did that? King who? King David, who? a man after God's own heart. King David did that. King David? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so if King okay, so King David I'm not saying it's right. Bible, he was wrong to do that, but uh anyways, you don't really have King a David, good point. King David in the Bible is supposed to be yeah. God's son, right? Also in the a man Bible, after God's Christ own heart. Is God's son, right? Abraham is God's son, right? So is Israel yeah. God's son. So who exactly is God's son? If you're saying that King David is supposed to be God's son. No, I didn't say he's God's son. I said he's a man after God's own heart. But he cheated on his wife, though, right? Yeah. He cheated, right? And he, he murdered. He, he committed mass murder. And exactly. he murdered her, so the, was, the woman's husband. Okay, so how exactly are we sitting here worshiping people who, are, who have cheated and killed people and they were reading the Bible, a text that has to do with them? I mean, Jesse I, I lost talks track about, of what you're saying. I don't know. I, I might have zoned out. I missed your point. Jesse always talked about people who are, who are, he always said that blacks need to, in fact, in fact, I even heard you on his show before <laughs> called black folks niggas. So are yeah, you I mean, I, was, <laughs> I don't know if I was I mean, even, I don't know if you've heard me call black people inwards. Yes, I've, yes, I've, I referred, yes, I, yes, I've said yes, the word inwards, but I don't know if I was... Talk, I mean, I, I one time, ad, I admitted on, on air, I mean, that I called Jesse the N-word one time when he pretended to steal something from me. And so I pretended to call him the N-word. I mean, I really did, but he had taken something from me. Uh, it it kind of shocked him, but it was just a joke. It was funny. But I don't really, now, uh, yeah, it's just, I mean, I don't really use that word anymore. And uh, because it's, there's no real benefit, it's not beneficial. It makes people mad, right. and, uh, and although they shouldn't be mad, there's no reason for me to like unnecessarily make people mad, you know. 
But anyways, I now, appreciate your call. I I gotta go. Uh, right, I want I want right, to call you Majesty, but it's not Majesty because there's another nice it's call. Almighty, it's Majesty, it's Almighty, Almighty. Yeah. Almighty. Yeah. All right, appreciate it, Almighty. All right, have a good day. Catch church. Take All care, right, brother. All right. All right. That was so nice. Um, before I get to the rest of the callers, let's play Obama. Okay. Obama is. Look at this guy. Pat used to give us advice that just watch him on silent and look at his face. So like. I'm, we're going to play it with full noise, but look at his face. Watch this. That, that's, the, that's the thing that, that is the most important thing in this election. Not health care, not, not uh, you know, whether or not folks are, are able to retire, not, not you know, doing something about higher wages or rebuilding our roads and bridges and putting people back to work. Suddenly, it's this group of folks... We don't even know where they are. They're way down there. <laughs> That's the biggest thing. He's mad because uh, we're focusing on the migrant caravan. And somebody asked me what, sh what should they do. Early on in the show, somebody asked what should they, or what are they going to do, the people that, the millions of people or whatever that, that try to come, hip, come up here. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know their situation. So I can't say what they're going to do or what they should do. But that migrant caravan is it just it's representative of the illegals who have been flooding in here and obama has allowed them to flood in here but i haven't you did you notice how like wild and crazy he is i have another clip show this one and you know as soon as the election's over everybody will be like what what, what what happened we were being invaded where where to go that's funny that's funny and it, you know what it would be funny except they do it every time, and too often it works. Hey, everybody gets all freaked out. He's trying to act like you Trump. You can't fall for that okie doke. Don't be hoodwinked. Don't be bamboozled. Wisconsin, don't fall for that kind of fear mongering. Keyword fear mongering. Now, fear mongering is what the left always does. He who fear mongered about the police being racist against blacks. That's fear mongering. And then I'm going to play, let's go ahead and play this Alec Baldwin fear-mongering. Alec Baldwin is fear-mongering, part B, where he talks about, I forget what he talks about, but he kind of goes nuts. There is, there is a small cadre of people currently in power mm. who are hell-bent on continuing a malicious immigration policy that has set this country up for charges of human rights violations by the global community. Ooh, fear-mongering. Play the next one, too. <laughs> they view and treat women as human beings that are not entitled to the same constitutional protections that men are. Fear-mongering. They are sons. They, are, they themselves are sons, husbands, fathers. And yet when the time arrived in the thick of the Me Too movement to set politics aside and establish that women's rights were more important than political expediency, they failed. And it was ugly. Uh, that type of talk, that type of fear-mongering is what's ugly, I think. Caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hey, James, this is Skip. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Loud and clear, Skip. Nice to hear from you. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? Doing well. Thank you. Well, I think you're handling your call, callers pretty good to <laughs> have uh, disagreements with you. And, and uh, I think it might be something in the war. I don't know. What's wrong with some of these people? I don't, I don't get it. I really, I really just don't get it. I think that um, if you're, if you're an angry person and somebody's calling out like the the evil that's inside of you, it um it makes you go a little crazy. I think that's what's happening. And Trump is really doing that. Uh, Jesse does that. Um, so I think that's what's happening, is that when you get confronted with your own evil by somebody who's like coming from a good place. That drives you nuts. It makes you like very defensive and angry. I think that's yeah. what's happening. Hey, I was just calling you about the uh, the uh, rally that they had down in Miami. The, the Democrats for uh, for the governor and everything, and had uh, Obama was down there. Yeah, Ob so Obama was campaigning for Andrew Gillum, the far left socialist black guy, whose intern was a crazy, angry Jewish girl who dresses in. Short, 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 shorts, nasty. 
and um, throws chocolate milk on Republicans, college Republicans, calling them Nazi enablers. Anyways, yeah. The high school I went to, uh, GMC, Georgia Military College Prep School, we had one of the worst football teams in the in the state. <laughs> right on. And it was so it, it was so sad because you ever been to a pep a pep rally before a football game? Yeah. And you know you think you know your team sucks real bad. And you're trying your best to pep everybody up, but you really don't have a leg to stand on because you know when you go out to the game, <laughs> they're going to lose anyhow. So the pep rally is really useless. <laughs> that, that's what that's what everyone that was standing up and talking at the at the uh, I call it the pep rally down in Miami. Yeah, that's what they looked like they 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 had fear in their eyes. They had uncertainty in their voice, and and, and they were trying to pep everybody up, but. You know, they had no facts to stand on. They had nothing to really, to really pep the people up with. It was a joke. I hope they lose. Well, I hope they do too. I've, I'm really looking at that race real close down in Florida. Cool. And that Stacy, the Stacy Abrams here in Georgia. Yeah. That's the a socialist, joke. the socialist woman be, whom Oprah stumped for. Oprah. Well, that says enough, don't it, James? Make make sure everybody votes for Brian Kemp. The current Secretary of State running for what? Who's running for a governor? Yes, sir. Uh huh. Wow. Imagine if that big black woman, Stacey Abrams, wins governor of Georgia. Woo. That would be terrible. It might make me move to California. I don't know if I'd move to California. <laughs> That'd be my address. Cost of living is pretty high. <laughs> I just want to tell you, though, uh, I go on Facebook. And I post you, and I post Jane, uh, Jesse nice. on there, and I ask all my friends to, uh, you know, to subscribe to y'all. And I've had a few of them c comment back, and they've uh, subscribed to y'all. Cool. So I'm trying to help bring the good message out. I appreciate so it, Skip. To start hearing the truth. Nice. Right on. Mm -hmm. all right. Yeah. Look here. You're doing a good job, and I appreciate you, James. Thank you, Skip. I appreciate you too. Take care. All right, buddy. Bye. Bye. You know, I was interviewed by Tushan Jennings, and I think I've talked about this before, of the Truth, Values, and Character show. You can find it on, um, it may be in the uh, I thing at the top of here, but it's certainly on my channel. Um, and we talked about how Farrakhan, Farrakhan is evil, and um, he pointed out that because he's angry, he's evil. So it doesn't matter how much facts that he puts out, how much truth mixed with lies that he puts out. Because he does definitely push lies, too, of, like, for example, police brutality, racism, and stupid stuff like that. Anyways, uh, I just wanted to point out that the, the anger makes you evil. You can have all the facts in the world, but you don't have a right to be angry. So anyways, um, caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Hello? Are you there? Hello? Yes. Who's this? Oh hey, it's uh, I'm I'm calling from Canada. I'm Shiloh. Sh Shiloh from Canada. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I remember called a you. long time ago. I'm the guy with the Asian um, girlfriend, and yeah, and yeah, you, you are. Through a long are time. you white or are you black or what? I'm 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 black. Yeah. Because Jesse was making fun of me, saying you sound like a white guy. Right. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to know when I'm on the line because you don't have a screen. So I yeah, yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah, but um, the thing is, I, I'm living in Canada, right, and. It's it, it, it's it's very uh, it's kind of disturbing what's going on, especially in Toronto. Like now they're starting to to target the youth. Yeah, with all definitely. this, like they're not using science when they have sex ed, and even if you go on the main site like CBC, which is basically the equivalent of um, Amer the biggest American news station, whatever that is. Okay, it's turned into like a feminist magazine. Wow. Like you see all the the articles that has to relate to feminism, right? Like they were talking about um, alcoholism and how it's now affecting women because the women want to feel like they have to keep up with the men, and they just have all kinds of articles like this. Like this um, female police officer, she worked at the police department for about thirteen years, and then she quit and starts complaining about sexual harassment that she faced. Right? Like that's what it's becoming. And it's, it's really bad. There's such a focus on identity politics. Yeah. You know, I'm a black guy, and I got into an argument with my professor because my professor was saying how black people, that affirmative action is a good thing. And I, I, I stood up and I said, I would be insulted if someone just hired me on the basis of, of what I look like right. and not my actual qualification. So 
this is the thing. I, I look at the U.S. People say, why are you so obsessed with Trump? Because he's steering America away from this direction. And yep. I would actually highly consider moving to the U.S. because I'm, I'm planning to have children very soon, right? And I, I, I can't compete trying to raise my children correctly with Christian values. And I'm competing with the schools that are, you know what I mean, brainwashing my kids. And they're looking at the celebrities. And then they're going to look at me and say, oh, daddy, you're just old fashioned. You don't understand <laughs> how the world works, right? That's, that's my biggest concern personally. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if you I don't know what the right thing is that um, I definitely understand your concern. Are you able to? Well, I mean, you don't even have kids yet, though. So um, I say that you whether you move or not, just wherever you are, just keep on fighting for for right, because that's how we got Trump. We we but thought that the country was gone and mm -hmm. um I know that there are a lot of decent people in Canada, and if you guys, and not everybody is, is, um, can see totally clearly, you know, some of the conservatives are not the strongest conservatives, but, but you, but, oh, you sorry. but you're gonna, I think a change may come if you guys stay there and fight it out. Um, th one of the problems that, um, that we we have in America, or we had in America, I think we still have it, is um, whites kept on flying, white flight. We kept on running away from the communities that were getting overrun with the with the POCs and the socialists, and people mm -hmm. fled to Flo to to Florida. People fled to um, to Texas, and you can only do that so long. You, I mean, you. You might be right to do it, but I'm just saying that there's a lot of there's a lot of problems with not staying and fighting it out. California did not have to be, become a democratic state. You know what I mean? Like we could we can take back California as as far left as it is. Um, yeah, I, I understand, but like you're saying, in U.S. there's 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 far more options. Here here in Canada, it's so ingrained in the society, right? Like let's say mm -hmm. that the con conservative speaker. If, if the average person wants to do more research on them, they just get tons of articles calling these people far right, right, calling them white nationalists. Just like Faith Goldie, she had no chance, right? She had, like, every, she, they didn't even let her debate, right? So you, you cannot have, we have, uh, you know, quote, but quote I'll tell you conservatives, what, unquote. Oh, pardon? I'll tell you what, though, Shiloh. I, I understand that, like, the truth is getting suppressed big time down the, up there. And it's mm -hmm. getting suppressed a lot down here, too. Um, but people can see through it. People who are looking for the truth who, or whose eyes are being opened can mm -hmm. see through the lies. Like, people can sense that the media is lying to them. It's not just that they're, even if they're brought up in this horrible culture, people can see through, especially if you're going to be standing strong for what's right the way that Trump did, did and the way that Jesse does without backing down. People are attracted to that. People are attracted. People who are inclined toward the truth are attracted to the truth. So um, it doesn't matter that you're in a minority or that the government is is censoring or that the rest of the media is censoring you guys. Um, you guys can still win. We thought. I'm telling you. We. I thought that America was long gone. I had no idea that there were so many young people who are. Um, whose eyes are open and or who would wake up but they are and they're doing it and it's it is changing for the good but anyways i understand your concern about the kids but you don't even have kids yet you shouldn't i don't think that you should be worried quite like this mm -hmm. you know yeah but anyways i appreciate the call shiloh you catching yeah, church great call nice talking to you yeah nice talking to you too you're gonna catch church uh yes for sure i always I do it's, it's an amazing show Nice. All right, appreciate All it, right. Shiloh. Take care. Yeah, you too. Bye. Bye. Let me finish up with these callers. Caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Hello. Hello? Yes. Is this me on? This yes, time? that's you. Who is this? Every, Who's every me? time I think it's me, it's somebody else. This is Peggy from San Antonio. Hey, Peggy. Did you hear a... Hey. I think that's what you I hear. Did. You hear. You usually hear a... When you come on. <laughs> Is it right? Really? I think so. Did you hear? Oh, a okay. Uh, I'll I'll test it out yeah, with the next one. Yeah, but I, my phone was moving. Anyway, ah. so is this like open 
topic or open discussion. Well, or, what did you want to say? Well, there's there's a few things, but one thing that the last caller was talking about was like um, moving here because yeah. of the freedom to become and you know what you want to be and and um, <clears throat> you're, but one you're of the Peggy, things right? that have been bothered. My name's Peggy. Okay. Yeah, James. Right. Uh -huh. I spoke with you, but you speak with yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, I remember. Anyway, um, <clears throat> the thing that's been bothering me, is, and I see it with my kids, is the education system. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you live if they're educating them. I was, about to, ask, I was about to ask Shiloh if he was willing to, you know, homeschool or something. Um, yeah. But he doesn't even have kids yet, so it's kind of like no point because... He's not even in the situation in life. He's at least nine months away from from even having a kid, which yeah. means that he's a few years away from even getting to the point of school. So, like, it's it, to, I felt pointless asking about um, yeah, something that because, doesn't even exist. Yeah. Yet. <laughs> well, what but there is homeschool. Thinking? There's a lot of opportunities, and there's like you can find good people. Like, it's shocking how many good people are in Los Angeles that. Love Jesse. They come across Jesse. They love him. So that there, there yeah. is a way to find other good people, and they can help you out with schooling too. I guess. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, I I agree. The education, that the education system, including most private schools, are so corrupt. Yeah, and another thing is to get with like-minded people because a yeah. lot of times you do feel alone. Yep. You know, you feel ganged up on. And, but like I said, with the edu I was going to go back to education because yeah. I've seen it with my own kids that were in Christian school. And as soon as they went to public school, the pressure of all the other kids and indoctrination, they, they totally switched. But yeah. I think but even the, beginning, just I think part of the problem is on. part of the problem is the Christian schools are not good and then the parents are not good either. Yeah. You know, like the parents are not raising the kids to be strong and it so the kids upon are the education of the school what I, yeah. I mean like what they were teaching my like, history my christian university that i went to at, oh, at, yeah. at the end it's like they're having a battle over whether they should allow homosexuals to get into relationships and because yeah, like they, you're supposed to be a christian at that school like if you attend the mm -hmm. school you're supposed to say sign a thing saying i'm a christian and um, yeah, <laughs> and most honestly, of them are not. I don't even go to a church anymore because of all the the junk. Because the, the, the people at the church are not like minded. Well, go to Jesse's church. <laughs> yeah. Do you watch Jesse's church? I do. I do. Nice. I listen to him. I do. But at I'm first, sure that there are people in your area that you don't realize that are of the same, the same mindset. Thing, maybe. Huh? Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Where are you yeah, calling from, by the way? San Antonio, Texas. Okay. Yeah. There's got to be some good yeah. people in San Antonio. Yeah. People are starting to wake up. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. So. Yeah. All right, James. I want to thank you for taking my call. Let's All right. Thank you, Peggy. Nice on. to hear okay. from you. Take care. You too. Bye. Caller, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello. Did you hear a... Yeah. <laughs> Hello? Yes. Can you... <laughs> So uh, I'm going to put you on hold, and I'm going to bring you back on. I'm going to do a little experiment on air. Listen to, listen to this, caller. I'm going to put you on hold, and then I'm going to bring you back on. Tell me if you hear anything. Okay. That was hold. That's on air. Did you hear the... Yes, I, I did hear that. Nice. <laughs> oh. All right. Hey, so listen, I'm a, I'm a first-time caller. Yeah. Uh, this turned into you. I was enjoying listening to... Uh, so you talked to a couple of people, but I want to go back to when you was talking to the gentleman that was debating you about Trump and all the lies and whatnot. Almighty, I didn't want is that to Almighty? Put this out there. Is that Almighty or was that uh, Russ? I'm not. I didn't. I didn't catch the guy's name, but he kept saying Trump lies every time he opens his mouth and all this kind of okay. stuff. Okay. Yeah. So what, what's your name, by the way? To, my name is Dion. 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 Yep. From where? So what I want? Uh, Chicago. Okay. Cool. And, and I'm African-American, male, black. Yeah. So what I want to know is this. How come you don't challenge these people? Because I'm getting real tired of people who constantly say Trump's lying. Right. And typically when they're saying he's lying, what they really are referring to are either he's 
didn't he wasn't truthful about something that had nothing to do with politics like right i don't care if trump cheated on his wife yeah or what he did in his past i don't care about that so when a person tries to keep that secret i don't know any person in america or personal friend of mine that is being truthful about if they cheated on your spouse whether they're man or woman <laughs> it is not pertinent to what we're talking about like that's a good point. I don't go to work and ask my co-employees, do they cheat on their wives? I don't care when I go to the McDonald's drive through if the cashier cheated on his wife. I don't care. I just want my Big Mac. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> I, I think Trump tries to tend to not be, he, instead of saying, mind your own business, he just doesn't speak about it. And people try to say, aha, he's a liar. Right. And really they deflect him. And then the other thing they do is Trump can say, oh, uh, there's, 7,000 people in this caravan just crossing, and then they'll go out and say, well, it was really 4,000, so he lied. It's like, <laughs> right. are you guys missing the point of yeah. what Trump is talking about? Like, is illegal immigration a problem or not? You keep saying the guy's lying. I'm not saying that he's not mistaken. Right. you kind of mistaken. But every time you say he's lying, it's usually about something that has to do with your best interest. Because yep. Trump, Trump is trying to help you. If, if Trump wasn't president, he would still be living good and eating steak and drinking wine. So when he's calling out things to help you, I don't know if he why drinks wine. So focus, why are you so focused on he's lying versus is illegal immigration the issue or not? Yeah. Focus on that and don't focus about if he got a number incorrect, because that's not technically a lie. Maybe exactly. Maybe he doesn't have all the facts together, but he's not lying. Yep. You are so right, okay. and that this reminds me of like this video that I did with Jesse about like facts versus truth. Is he started out asking me if white people are like hung up on grammar, like getting grammar perfectly, and then we go on to like f saying facts versus truth. A lot of people have who are on the left and right have a lot of facts, but they're not into the truth. And people like Jesse mm -hmm. and Trump, they're about the truth. They may get the piddly facts wrong. Correct. But they're they have the the main point, and the main point is that immigration has been a problem, murder rates have been a problem, um, all kinds of things, and they're and they're addressing the problem. They're having correct. they have the truth down pat, whether they have all the little facts correctly, all exactly correct or not. And you're right, they don't have to be saying, oh yes, I did cheat on my wife, and yes, I did this and this and this and this. You don't have to be sharing that. Um, that may well be a time to to lie, I guess, where you like Correct. this. Is, <laughs> no, I didn't do that, right. or whatever. But um, especially because this is like a t t ten year old situation. This happened ten years ago. The whole Stormy Daniels thing, if it happened at all. Right. And you're you are right. so right. And these people, Obama was the biggest liar, and he lied about the truth. He didn't lie about. Right. He didn't get facts wrong. He lied about the truth. Many times he got facts right. right like he would pick cherry pick certain facts in order to push a lie and that's what a lot of people right. do and so that's obama right. was the biggest liar and so all these right. people that call trump a liar they don't have any sway with me they just roll my eyes and you're right i i um i didn't think about uh challenging this guy because i just roll my eyes by now with these people calling trump a liar but anyways I would like to see you challenge it just to see yeah. what they actually would be uh specific about like you know, but but I, yeah. you them out, I would like to hear really what they're talking about. Yep. Yeah, that's all. They're just repeating all it. All right, have a good day, man. All right, you too, Dion. Nice to hear from you. Take care. All right, cool. All right. I am way over. Joel points out that it was 10.03 like a minute ago. So, callers, I am sorry I cannot get to you, but we got to end. Catch Church with Jesse Lee Peterson in one hour. Uh, less than an hour, hopefully, if we're on time. 11 a.m. Pacific time, Pacific Standard time. Because it is November 4th, Daylight Savings Time has ended. Um, most of you all know that because you have smartphones. But go to rebuildingtheman.com slash church. Subscribe to Bond Rebuilding the Man. Bond Rebuilding the Man on YouTube. We gotta blow that channel up. Make it huge. Alright guys, take care.
Yeah.